Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about cross site request forgery. So cross site request forgery also referred as CSRF or CSRF. So before going further let me give you one example that there is one user who is logged in on a particular website and attacker sends a malicious link to that user of a malicious website and if that user clicks on that link and open that malicious website then that malicious website will make a request to that website on which the user is logged in on the behalf of user. So here you can see that that malicious website will make a legitimate request to that legitimate website on which the user is authenticated and the request is triggered as soon as user click on that malicious link. So the session IDs, cookies, tokens are all sent by user's browser to that legitimate website if the malicious website make a request. Now let's see how CSRF attack works. Now let's have a look at basic C's of attack. The first thing we have to do is we have to start our OS broken web application which we usually do all the times and here you will see that my OS broken web application is up and running. So let me open the OS broken web application in my Firefox. Now this time we have to use this web application OS Webgoat. So if I just click over here it asks us for the username and the password. So the username is guest and the password is guest. Click on OK. Uh, so here you will see the OS Webgoat web application. So let's click over here start Webgoat. And on the left hand side you will see lot of challenges. Let's go here cross site scripting and here you will find one challenge called as cross site request forgery or CSERF. Let me open this challenge. So what we have to do is, is we just have to assume that we are a normal user. We are a authenticated user and we are logged in. So now what we have to do is we ha actually have to create HTML page or we ha actually have to create HTML page and inside it we have to create an image tag which will be hidden. So that image tag will actually points to this URL and in that image tag we have to pass additional parameter called as transfer funds. So if I if I if any user like me I am authenticated user here as webgoat so if an attacker will send me the link of its web page. So if I just open its web page then a transfer of 4000 rupees will be done from my webgoat account. So this is the challenge. So here you can see your goal is to send an email to a news group that contain, a, that contain an image whose URL is pointing to malicious request. So try to include one by one pixel image the URL should point to CSRF lesson with an extra parameter called as transfer funds. And here you will see that they have given us something to store the value. Like if I just write here text. Hello, this is sample text. And now if I just click on submit, you will see that this text has been submitted and we can just read it contents. Now let's create HTML file which will point to that CSRF URL. So height should be 1 and width should be 1 and the source Let me just copy this URL. Let me paste it over here. And what they want is they want an additional parameter called as transfer funds equals 4000.
So here you will see that our HTML web page is ready. Now one thing more. So there are different different tags in the HTML which we can use to trigger the CSRF attack. So the one is image because the image tag contain a source and we can point the source to our CSRF web, web application. So we can also use iframe tag because iframe tag also consists of this attribute source. Then we can also use script tag and few more. So let me just paste it and let me just create a file called as attack.html and let me just close this. So now as an assumption, so what we have to do is we have to lure our victim as a pen tester we have to lure our victim to open this file. So if, a, if our victim open this file then the transfer of 4000 rupees will be done from his account. So if I just open this file, okay, now let's go here and I'll refresh this page but before refresh this page, let's do one thing. Let's go here to the developer and click over here network. Now, let, uh, now let's see that what's the network traffic comes in and goes out. Now if I just reload the page, you will see at top this get request and if I just click over here you will see our request and here you will see a small green tick means the transfer funds of 4000 has been successfully done from the victim account. So here you will see a green tick. So if you want to just restart this lesson just click on restart this lesson. So this was the very very basic attack of CSERF but in the advanced courses we will cover this topic in much more detail. So in this video we have covered that what's a CSERF attack and how we can do CSERF attack in WebGoat web application. So thanks for watching this video.